Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 5. Well guys, what happened in the previous episode is that we saw that Sheldon was forced to take a vacation and we also seen that he can't relax at all. All. This person was meant to work, you know, he was born to work, he was born to be scientist, his brain always should work, <laughs> and I think it's okay. I mean, Sheldon in his environment, but it was so funny that he tried to annoy Amy and work with her as his vacation. He wasn't doing a really good job. Amy basically asked him, oh, can you watch this last cups or whatever it was, like glass tubes, and he failed this simple task task and he was like no <laughs> I know what I'm doing but it was so funny and yeah and also we've seen uh, the moment where Sheldon couldn't survive without Leonard they signed the agreement like they're no no more roommates or whatever it was Leonard was like hell yeah <laughs> I didn't know there there was an option yeah and Sheldon understood that he needs Leonard he loves Leonard because Leonard is his best friend but it was so funny and cute the episodes were absolutely like 10 out of 10 as always <laughs> and i'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so let's talking guys let's get started still it's a shame professor rothman was forced to step down I mean, what choice did the university have he snapped it happens to theoretical physicists all the time i wonder how long sheldon's got <laughs> <laughs> around like 100 Shrimp years because he's a logical. robot hey, look, there's rothman's empty office dibs <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you already took you place! Here, ah, measuring my new office for dwapes. This is not your office. It hasn't been assigned yet. Wong, I called dibs at the Christmas party when Professor Wattman tried to have intercourse with the Toys for Tots collection box. <laughs> Offices are not assigned because someone called dibs. You just called dibs. Shut it. <laughs> Offices are assigned by seniority. I arrived at the university first. I arrived at the office first. I'm the proverbial Uri bird. Oh wow, hello? Is it this professor? Good evening. <laughs> Just vibing, why not? I'm glad that men are wearing hats again. They're so distinguished. <laughs> I got you a little something. A little something? Aww. Oh, oh wow. What the hell is this? It's huge. What's huge is what you've done for me. Oh, no, Amy, I haven't done anything. Aww, no, we're no, before I met you, I was a mousy wallflower. But look at me now. I'm like some kind of downtown hipster party girl. <laughs> With a posse, boyfriend, and a new lace bra that hooks in the front of all things. Aww. Open it, open it. <laughs> I wanted to get you something you didn't have. Oh my god, look wow. at Betty's face! I, on the I picture. don't know what to do. Wow! Do you like it? Do I like it? Wow! <laughs> She's about to cry! <gasps> wow, that's a big picture. That's a that huge picture. <laughs> President Siebert. Oh, are you gonna annoy I'm the sorry, guy just while he's word. doing his now, business? You realize I'm your boss and I am holding my penis. Uh, I'm sorry, this guy's got no oh my respect God. for that. Don't, don't touch the guy, Jesus. What do you want? Will you tell this lunatic that Professor Wattman's office is rightfully mine? <laughs> Gentlemen, there's a task I'm trying to accomplish here and I'm having trouble doing it. I don't mean to be an alarmist, but difficulty initiating a urine stream could be a symptom of benign prostatic hyperplasia. <laughs> No, if you're, you're interested, I can send you a link. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to allow the two of you to work this out because A, you're both brilliant scientists, and B, as far as who gets Rothman's office, I couldn't give the furry crack of a rat's behind. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, wash your hands! As long as we're here, I might as well take a week. <laughs> Kripke? Yes? You're in my spot. <laughs> what? You have your own toilet? Oh, Shelly shit. Oh, goodness me. Come on, this is cute. Big. Yeah, that's so big. Enormous, <laughs> but it's cute. So you can't take it down, you'll break her heart. Look at that face. That enormous, unsettling, crazy face. <laughs> Alright, it's gotta go. Oh, I still think it's kinda cute. 
Now, how about I tell her the painting makes you feel jealous because you're not in it? Oh, nah. -uh. What if she gets me one? <laughs> Be hilarious. You already have a picture of me and Howard's mom getting our hair corn rode in Venice Beach. I've suffered enough. Well, I guess I could take it down and put it up when she comes over, but it's kind of heavy. Too bad you're not as strong as the dude in the painting. <laughs> I paid $25 to some kid on eBay for a handcrafted Harry Potter wand. He sent me a stick. <laughs> it's called scam rush. <laughs> he went into his backyard, he picked up a stick. It's numbered. Ooh, limited edition. Nice. <laughs> oh, that'll be Kripke. Scam, What's scam, doing here? scam. We're going to work this office situation out like gentlemen. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to poison his tea. Koopa? Kripke, come in. In the interest of preserving our friendship. We're not friends. Well, that's a little hard to hear, but all right. I propose the following. I will take Rothman's office, and you will find a way to be okay with that. <laughs> How about Don't think so. I take Rothman's office, and you go suck a women? <laughs> oh, don't do your cute You sure can't get you that cup of tea? How about you decide this with rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock? Oh, I actually had an idea about a rock, paper, that? scissor. <laughs> Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock was created by internet pioneer Sam Cass as an improvement on the classic game Rock, Paper, Scissors. All hail Sam Cass. Hail. <laughs> it's like a cult it and I love uh -oh. it. Rock crushes Lizard. Lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes Scissors. Scissors decapitates Lizard. Lizard eats paper. Paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes Rock. And as it always has, Rock crushes Scissors. Wow. That's like a tongue twist. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> Prove Spock. Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. Literally, I agree. Almost got it. One more time? Sure. <laughs> just cuts paper. Paper covers rock. Sheldon, he's Almost messing with you. With you. I see no other option than to challenge you to a duel. I'd smack you with a glove, but just last week I packed away my winter things. <laughs> Barry, how good of a shot are you? <laughs> Pistols, are gonna help him. a trivia contest, and you may choose the field of battle. Star Trek trivia, Star Trek Next Generation trivia, or model trains. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to find something you're both equally good at. Is there anything you're both equally bad at? Sports. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, this here is, is the answer. One. First person to five wins the office. Any questions? Yes, Sheldon. Five what? <laughs> Balls in the basket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's gonna be a long, long that day. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Went out of womb. <laughs> oh my god, he's sweating like you know all it's those a terrible waterfall. things bullies used to do to us. Yeah. I get it. Well, at least this is more entertaining when Howard and Rush was fighting as well a couple of episodes back. <laughs> hey, this is actually funny. First person who makes a basket wins the office. Make it too easy there, Hofstetter. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Come on, Use someone force, should Sheldon. do it. Use the force. Well, you tried. I'm gonna need more force. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is the best thing oh. I've ever seen. We gave it 45 minutes. It's no longer funny. Let's try something else. <laughs> On the count of three, both of you bounce the balls as hard as you can. The highest bounce wins the office. Come on. One, two, Sheldon, three. Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Sheldon was higher. Congratulations, Sheldon. You win the office. Yay! Who's on Satisfactory in PE now? Oh, what a great movie. I cannot believe you've never seen Grease. My mother didn't allow me to watch it. She was afraid it might encourage me to join a gang. <laughs> You're part of the gang now. Yes, 
I should get going, too. Good night, painting Penny. <laughs> Good night, real Penny. Good she's night, just real obsessed Amy. with Penny, and I love it. You don't have to say goodnight to painting Amy because she's never leaving. Well, that was a bit creepy. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let us take you off the wall. You know, oh. can I borrow that movie? Those singing hooligans really got my motor running. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna sure, know to sure, say. Sure, enjoy. You know what? Actually, you keep it. It's just gonna be my gift to you. Thank Bye. you. Oh. Wait, where'd the baining go? Aww. Right over there. I have no idea. That is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. You hate it. No, no, no. It's it's just it's a little big. I feel like an idiot. Oh, come on, you're not an idiot. Look, just help me put it back up. Why? So you can just take it down when I leave? I don't need your pity. Oh, Amy, come on. I'm just glad I didn't go for the sculpture. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Sheldon, but I have to admit I'm going to miss sharing an office with you. Oh, of course. Oh yeah, are. Raph's gonna Feel be free alone to drop now. By anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Give me a call first. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Professor Rothman, this isn't your office anymore. You're retired. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is invisible. I came to say I'm sorry. Don't bother. You better. Amy, please. You better. I'm so humiliated. You're right. You're absolutely right. I should have been honest with you and told you the gift was too much. Yes, too much. Because our friendship is fundamentally asymmetrical. I clearly like you more than you like me. I don't think you can put a number on how much one person likes another. I bought you a painting that's 12 square feet in area. There's a number. <laughs> Amy, come If you don't like feet, you can try dollars. The painting sent me back three grand. <laughs> Three, gr oh my God. Yeah, paintings are expensive. Look, Amy, all you need to know is you are my friend and I don't want to lose you out of my life. Grab your hammer. Nope, damage is done. Okay, look, I didn't want to say this, but the real reason I took the painting down was because it made Bernadette very jealous. <laughs> oh my now we're throwing Bernadette under the bus. The painting is a constant reminder that of the three of us, she is the least cool. <laughs> now I'm thinking if she actually gonna well, put going? Bern Bernadette go in put there. put this back up in your apartment. Well, what about Bernadette? Oh, screw her. She's just lucky we let her hang out with us. <laughs> <laughs> you screwed, Betty. That's windy. What are you doing? Trying to raise the temperature in here before my nipples tear through my shirt. <laughs> Why is there a hole here? Why is there a hole in my new office? I've narrowed it down to two possibilities. Uh, there was something in the wall that someone outside the wall wanted, or the more disturbing, there was something in the wall that wanted out. <laughs> Ew, I hope so, like uh, rats or something. Finally got a window that opens. That's nice. Is it? <laughs> Listen. What, you don't like wind chimes? No, I hate them, but it gets worse. <laughs> It's completely out of tune with the wind chimes. So? You don't get it, do you? That's a mockingbird. Mockingbirds can change their song, which means he's out of tune on purpose. <laughs> he's mocking me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the vibration. Welcome to we your new office. Sheldon, relax. How can I relax? My nervous system is being stretched out like the strings of a harp and, and plucked by holes and birds and wind and the low-hanging scrotum of the difficult to evict Professor Rothman. I feel like he's going to leave the office. A little higher on the right. Now? A little more. That's got it. Yeah, okay, that's uh, that's good. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. Mm. Originally, we were painted nude. <laughs> but I had him add clothes because I thought it was an unnecessary challenge to our heterosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> they look like in a painting. It's so funny. Oh no, Sheldon! What happened? I was trying to see what was in here, and my head got stuck. It's called scientific curiosity. <laughs> now, We're scientists. Okay, they hang in there. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's what I would do as well. This is like once in a life <laughs> time opportunity. 
<laughs> love it. Love it. I hope it's going to be a Christmas card or something <laughs> with this picture. Hello. I'm here for my haircut with Mr. D'Onofrio. I'm sorry. Uncle Tony's in the hospital. He's pretty sick. I could cut it for you. You're not Mr. D'Onofrio. <laughs> I get my haircut by Mr. D'Onofrio. Excuse us for a second. Sheldon, Come on, it's okay. Sheldon. He can do it. He's a barber. He's not a barber. He's the nephew. I'm the sure child. he can Mr. do. Mr. D'Onofrio knows exactly as good how of I a like job my hair done as your previous he has all my barber. Haircut records from my barber in Texas. When I first moved here, I was nervous about finding a new barber, so my mother had all my haircut records sent here to Mr. D'Onofrio. There's no such thing as haircut records. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> Wow, his seen? mom was absolutely no, messing with Sheldon. <laughs> Do you have access to my haircut records? You what? <laughs> to paraphrase T.S. Eliot, this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, <laughs> but with a nephew. Sheldon, you're a grown man. He's a professional, and your haircut is number three on that poster from 1946. <laughs> Just sit down and let him do it. But if I come out of this looking like a dork, it's on you. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be okay, Sheldon. Don't you worry. So my kid said the funniest thing today. Nope. <laughs> what? 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 When you tell this story later, the word we usually use is quirky. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to get the hair out of my eyes. <laughs> They're not even Sheldon, reaching you. You are eyes. one day late for your haircut. Looky here, I got my travel orders. <laughs> Payload specialist Howard Wallowitz is requested to report to the NASA Johnson Space Center, Houston, Texas, for astronaut training Monday, 8 a.m. So, what kind of things are the way you start? Oh my that? god, look at Sheldon! <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I feel like a teen heartthrob. You know, Sheldon, I used to cut my brother's hair. I could do it for you. Penny, I know you mean well offering the skills of the hill folk, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the bad boy attitude that comes with this hair. <laughs> Ooh, I would love to see a bad boy. <laughs> you go to my guy. A quick question here. Have we actually changed the conversation from I'm going to astronaut training to Sheldon can't get a haircut? Yeah. No, he's dying of jealousy. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, you're just I'm too excited. I'm looking for a barber, and I'm running out of time. What about supercuts? I tried once. They do men's and women's hair in the same room at the same time. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah with moose. <laughs> well, this isn't a crisis. Why don't you just let your hair grow out a little? Why it's going to be a completely different person. And, uh, uh, seeking... <laughs> I don't know. I think you might look sexy with long hair. Blows back while riding on a horse. <laughs> bare back and bare chested. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. It might take a while. <laughs> oh no, Amy! <laughs> Hi, sweetie. I miss you. I miss you too. So tell me all about your first day. Got to experience zero gravity. Cool, how do they do that? Well, it's pretty neat. You get in this plane that goes Almost straight up for like 20 seconds. Straight back down like it's going to crash. And they do it over and over again, you know, no matter how many times you throw up. You threw up? Yeah. Because there's no gravity, the throw up kind of floats there. Ugh. In a little ball. And Disgusting. Your mouth is open because you're screaming. Oh, no. Sometimes it just floats right back in. <laughs> yeah, I would have laughed too, but I didn't want the vomit to come back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, was it his barber? Mr. D'Onofrio? Yeah, they didn't have anything barber themed in the gift shop, so Aww. I got you this. Anyway. <laughs> There's well, is he going to keep it back? <laughs> show people in comas are aware of everything going on around them. With that in mind, if you can hear me, move away from the light and toward the sound of these scissors. Oh, God. Can is I help you? You're going to be kicked yes. out right now. Do you right have something now? I could use as a cape? Yeah, I, I see. J just, just wait here. One moment. <laughs> you better run, Sheldon. I got to run. Exactly. But not with scissors. That would be unsafe. Isn't that checkmate and I win? 
Well done. <laughs> oh my God, Leonard's so happy about it. <laughs> ah. well, is it or isn't it? You know, I think this is a good stopping point. <laughs> Uh, it's your first real game. I threw a lot of information at you. <laughs> no, first I, game. He well can't done. Go here because of my lighthouse. He can't go here because of my pointy head guy. Like I said, complicated game. <laughs> well done, Peggy. So did I win or not? Uh, did you have fun? Because if you had fun, then you are. You are a winner. Now that's that. That's what you're all <laughs> oh about. Oh my God, Leonard is about to cry. Oh hey, sorry, Sheldon. I'll move. Hmm. Why? My spot. Your spot. What difference does it make? <laughs> Bad boy attitude. Sweetie, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. It's been six days since I was supposed to get a haircut, and nothing horrible has happened. Okay, well, I'm that's sorry, I don't understand. Good? Leonard, explain it to her. Oh, uh, he's crazy. <laughs> think this could be good for you. Well, maybe it's time for you to shake things up a bit. You're right. I should embrace the chaos. Hell yeah, bad boy Great. Sheldon what are you gonna is do in first? town. I don't know. I could do anything. All bets are off. World is my oyster. I got it. I'm gonna put on my Tuesday pajamas tonight. Wow. I feel the hotness. I gotta tell you, I'm a little worried about him. No. <laughs> if I were you, I'd be worried that a girl who's never played chess in her life just kicked your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah, Penny. <laughs> How are you okay? You're not looking good. Hi. Looks like he's been attacked. Howie, what happened to you? We did overnight survival training in the wilderness. Uh. Survival training? Is that like camping? Uh-huh. Except you don't have food or water. Do you sleep in tents? No. I slept in a hole I dug in the ground with my bare hands. <laughs> You're so brave. I'm proud of you. I ate a butterfly. <laughs> I feel bad for Howard, but I mean, it's necessary to do this training. It was so small. <laughs> Beautiful. I was so hungry. Oh my god, he's got such a crazy eyes. Are you crying? No, I don't think it's possible. I'm severely dehydrated. <laughs> Go to my sleep, is like Howie, if you're not able to do this, come home. It won't change how I feel about you. Thanks, honey. But I can't quit. <laughs> if I do, I'd just be a guy who had a chance to be an astronaut and gave it up. <laughs> Don't let this be Sheldon playing bongos. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Please don't let this be Sheldon I'm playing so bongos. I'm so scared. Hello, Leonard. Do you like my bongos? Bet you didn't know that I had bongos. Sheldon, oh, what's three this? In the morning. Three in the morning. Time for bongos. <laughs> Leonard sleeps while I play bongos. <laughs> oh, look at his hair! Stop, stop, stop it! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hi, Penny. Guess what? Sheldon got bongos. <laughs> Why did you get bongos? Richard Feynman played the bongos. I thought I'd give that a try. Richard Feynman was a famous physicist. Leonard, it's three o'clock in the morning. I don't care if Richard Feynman was a purple leprechaun who lived in my butt. Roommate agreement. Uh, um, no uh, hoot nannies, sing alongs, or barbershop quartets after 10 p.m. <laughs> Roommate agreement. And he's like, are you I don't care. <laughs> we are living in a world of chaos. Where are you going? Wherever the music takes me, kitten. <laughs> Bye. I play bongos. Walk. That's it. He's dead. Never play bongos. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to help you get through this. You can't do it on your own. You need someone to take care of you. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, and I love you. Howard, <laughs> your bath is getting cold. 
Don't worry, once she falls asleep, I'll spoon you like an armadillo. <laughs> His mom is already here! Aww. But it's cute that they both came to support Howard. Poor guy. Must have been exhausted. Shut like the snake! Love is like a ha! Don't you do this? It's kind of uncalled for. No, it was called for. What's going on? All right, Sheldon, this craziness has gone on long enough. Please come home so I can cut your hair. All right. Honey, look. We've known each other for a long time now, right? I've taken you to Disneyland. I kicked a bully in the nuts for you. I sing you soft kitty when you're sick. You've even seen me naked once. I'm sorry, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be secret. Good. Long story. Anyway, Sheldon, I promise I know what I'm doing. Please let me cut your hair. Amy, what do you think? Oh. There's not a hair on my body. I wouldn't let this woman trim. That's so cute that Sheldon asked for Amy's opinion. Fine. Aww. Thank you for letting me sleep on your couch. There's only so many times a woman can say, how about the bed? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the haircut, Mr. D'Onofrio would tell me a dirty joke. Oh, sorry, I don't know any dirty jokes. That's OK. I never understood them anyway. <laughs> Okay, what do you think? It looks like normal Sheldon. Hmm. Well, I think I can pull it off. Well done, Penny. Ah, told ya. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up your neck a little and then you are good to go. I'm time. <laughs> no way. No way. Okay, well, yeah, we're all done now. It's just okay. Thank you very much. He's gonna look welcome. bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move. <laughs> <laughs> you better. Sorry guys, but my camera just stopped recording randomly and it didn't show on the screen that it stopped recording. But if I will wrap up quickly what I said, my favorite episode is uh, Sheldon with his hair and bad boy attitude. So I can definitely put this episode in my top five because it was absolutely hilarious. I love Sheldon like that. <laughs> I would like to see more of him like this, you know, just like free spirit guy. Ah, Sheldon. Sheldon is full of surprises and I love it. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!